folks, Courtney Robinson here. And if you're watching this, you've either found me on YouTube or you are completing your course on yoga for special populations. And so I just want to conclude everything that you've seen here and wrap it up for you. Before we start on this conclusion and just congratulating you for doing the hard work of going through all of these videos and information, you always want to make sure if you're a yoga teacher watching this or a yoga therapist, that you have the training to do the thing that you're doing. So make sure that you have the proper training and skills. And that doesn't mean that if you're working with someone who comes in and they have had cancer, that you have had to go through cancer training. It just means that you're not going to try to do something outside of your scope of practice. So as yoga teachers and yoga therapists, we use the eight limb system of yoga and what we know, such as asana, posture, pranayama, breathing exercises, and meditation skills, it's things that we use like um, sense withdrawal, visualization, meditation to help the people in front of us. We might infuse that with the ethical principles as well, such as the yamas and the niyamas, things like discipline or um, contentment. So those are very important principles that we can share and infuse into what we do. But we want to be careful not to be preachy or to step outside of our scope of practice. We certainly are not doctors, unless you are. We are not psychologists or social workers, unless you are. And I have trained many people who are duly certified or trained, so it's not uncommon. Make sure that you have a waiver for each student that they have been released by their physician to practice with you and that you, again, stick within your scope of practice and that you have liability insurance. That being said, in this program, you have learned about all kinds of physical issues that you may see from autoimmune issues to cancer to heart disease, diabetes, um, chronic back problems, hip problems, sacroiliac problems, um, sciatica. These are common things depending on where you work. So if you're working in a yoga studio, you may not see these all of these problems. However, you may run into seeing someone with SI problems or someone who is pregnant. That would be more common. In a medical clinic or in a nonprofit world, you might see people who have heart disease or who have had cancer. It doesn't mean that you won't run into them if you're working in a gym. It's just that there are certain areas where you're going to see more special populations. I've also discussed and broken down in here dealing with stress, anxiety, depression, anger, loneliness, things that we consider mental or emotional struggles. And so you, you'll see a theme very quickly, and that is that they're not separated. The physical affects the mental emotional, and the mental emotional well-being affects the physical well-being. For instance, if I am grieving the loss of someone I love, it could make me feel physically ill. If I am physically ill and let's say I have an autoimmune disease, it can cause depression if I'm not able to get out of out of that pain or discomfort. So you'll see when I'm talking about things that there is a pattern that we do, the things that we do, the application if you will, and that's the last part is application. The application for a physical element may have more emphasis on posture or getting someone into a sympathetic parasympathetic response out of a fight or flight response into a rest and digest response. You'll see that that might be common for cancer, but also depression and loneliness. So you'll see a lot of similarities in these things. So we'll take the application of these principles, these yoga principles, the eight limbs, and we apply them very similar, similarly, that's a hard word for me, to physical and mental emotional issues. And so make sure that you stick within the basics of your understanding of this as you go out to teach. Again, as far as who I'm talking to here, I'm not sure if you're a yoga teacher, I'm not sure if you're a yoga student, or you're a yoga therapist, but always remember to keep people safe first and foremost to if you do not know the answer, you do not feel qualified, then to find someone who is qualified. Always put the practitioner student in front of you before 
your own ego. That's very important. Um, I'll give an example of that. I work in a cardiac and cancer rehab. I'm a yoga therapist with 20 years experience, which you know if you've watched this. If I have a student who's right out of school and they call me and a person comes to their class who just had open heart surgery, I'm not making any extra money by them coming to me, but that person needs to go through rehabilitation before they go into a regular class. Even if they have been released by their doctor, it's probably in their best interest to do some kind of cardiac rehab. So if you are in a community where those things are available, I would highly recommend that. If you're not, always go to the side of being cautious and careful and make sure that you understand um, for instance, you don't want to put someone's arms over their head if they have high blood pressure, and that is addressed in those videos previously. Please feel free to reach out to me. Um, you can find me online by Googling Courtney Robinson Yoga, or you could even put Courtney Robinson Yoga Arkansas. Um, in There are links in the course to my books, and that's the, if you want to support my work, buying my books is the best way. They run anywhere from $4.99, free on Kindle Direct for one of them, to $25.99. That really helps me, and it helps me do this work and keep spreading this work and this information. Other than that, if you see me, you're probably in intensive cardiac rehab or cancer rehab or diabetes rehab. So I want to tell you how much I appreciate you doing this course or being here with me today. If you're watching this on YouTube, I would really appreciate a thumbs up and um, a subscription because that helps more people find this information. Many blessings to you. Have a wonderful day and take care.